Hello beautiful people. Ah, this is my first video on this channel. I'm so excited. Um, I'm Cassie and I am from the original channel Miss Sassy Cassie, but I recently got rid of that channel and I started two new ones. So I started this channel which will be more lifestyle and things like healthy eating and gym and just, you know, everything about life. And then I have my channel Sassy Cassie which is all about books. So that's my main channel, I would say definitely. I don't know exactly what kind of posting schedule I'll have on this channel yet. I haven't quite figured out what I can handle. I'm going to shoot for once a week, if not twice a week, though that's the goal. It definitely, hopefully, will become more regular in a few weeks when my school semester ends. That is kind of just a little heads up for you watching this channel. I'm very excited for you to be here. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very nervous about this new adventure, but I wanted to do my year in review of 2019 so that you guys could kind of get to know me a little bit, but also so that I can just see everything that I've done this year too. Um, these are the types of videos that I really love to go back and look at again, so that's something that I really want to do. I'm going to talk about 2019 starting in January so let's go I'm going to pull out my phone and go through Instagram at the same time so that I can then save pictures and I'll post some things up here but my Instagram is also linked down below my other channels linked down below so if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that everything is down below and you should check it out I started my year off going to New Orleans I'm from California I live in California I've lived in California my whole life I live in the same city I grew up in. I moved away one year in 2013. That's when I met now my husband and I came running back because I did not like leaving my city that I grew up in. I live in a big city. It's near LA. It's not LA. Um, and I moved to a small town. Didn't like the small town life. So that's a little background for you. But we started our New Year's, me and Matt started our New Year's in New Orleans and it was the first time I'd ever been to New Orleans. It was freaking fantastic. I love that place. I don't think I'd want to live there, but for sure I would love to go back. It's just so historical, so much history is there. And then on top of that, just like the the vibe is just so wonderful and welcoming and I just had a freaking blast. We saw Madame LaLaurie's mansion there and that was really creepy. We went on a ghost tour and that was really creepy. Madame LaLaurie is the one that if you watch American Horror Story and you watched the witch one, the coven, the coven one is the one that has New Orleans stuff in it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Madame LaLaurie is the one who was torturing her slaves and stuff. That's all a true story. Madame LaLaurie's mansion, it's right now owned by Nicolas Cage. It was owned by Nicolas Cage. Now it's owned by some oil tycoon from Texas. It was just gorgeous. This was the view from uh, Jackson Square on New Year's Eve. And then this was our little house that we stayed in. It was like a little back house. It was so cute. Yeah, it was just, it was such a wonderful time. We were there from the 28th through the 5th, I think, of January. And just rang in the new year there and it was fantastic. And I don't know how we're going to top it this year. I have no idea. But that was the beginning of my year. I also began a bullet journal for the first time in 2019. So I now have a bullet journal and I actually have realized that I kind of don't need one. Like I, I use my planner all the time for a lot of things. So what I did this year was I bought a planner that has options in it so that I can kind of combine the things that I really use my planner for. I mean, I really use my bullet journal for. I'm going to try to do one this year, but I do really want to start journaling, which I kind of did a little bit this year, but I didn't really get into it. But I think that it would be really useful for my self-care and my mental health if I was journaling, because I tend to have a cyclical mind and I just rethink the same things over and over again. And I think that if I could get it out and put on paper, then maybe it would get out of my head. I don't know. We'll have to see. After New Year's, uh, at some point, Ch uh, Spencer from Common Spence came and visited California and he stayed with Chelsea and I went and visited them and we went to the Griffith Observatory and just hung out. We did a live show that weekend. It was fantastic. I also went and celebrated my sister's birthday in San Diego with my best friend and her best friend and that was really fun. Some weird bartender who was really cool. My best friend got married in March so I also helped plan a lot of things 
things for her celebration because I was her maid of honor. So we did her bridal shower and I got to celebrate her as a bride. And then I also, this is just more photos from her bridal shower. Um, I also won a free engagement photo shoot from a photographer for going to one of those bridal expos because I got married this year, we'll get to it. Um, and so I won an engagement shoot, so this is a photo from that. Then we went to my best friend's bachelorette party. We went on a cruise to Mexico and that was a freaking blast. So here's a little boomerang and that was my outfit of the night for our like party night. We also just had so much fun hanging out at the beach or hanging out at the pool on the cruise is what I should say. Um, and that was just fun. This is more photos from that engagement shoot I won. I also celebrated my own birthday up in the town that my husband is from and we went to wine tasting and so this was just all of us hanging out and being fools at one of the wineries. Matt and I went to Disneyland to celebrate my birthday as well. And then my best friend got married and so I went to her wedding. Of course, I was in her wedding and that was cool. It was just like, it's so surreal. Like, how are we old enough to be married? I don't know. I also went to the Festival of Books with Chelsea. So that was really cool. I had never been to the Festival of Books before. I have been to USC, but um, just not for that particular event. This is another photo from my best friend's wedding. It was just so fantastic. This is her daughter that I'm hugging. And I just cannot believe how gorgeous the whole event was and that photo is right after I gave my speech as maid of honor. Then we celebrated my stuff. We had my bridal shower and bachelorette weekend on the same weekend because we're insane. So these are photos from the bachelor, uh, the bridal shower. And then later that night I got dressed up and we went out day and night. Those are the two outfits. And we went out to the town, we went clubbing, so this is just us being all cute and us being a mess in the bathroom. <laughs> um, and then these are me saying thank you to everyone who, all of the women in my life who are really important and I wanted to say thank you before the wedding. This is right after Matt and I said our vows. We celebrated and popped some champagne in the park. And then this is another little photo of us from the day these were not the professional photos. Yeah, I saw um, Les Miserables this year. That was the, I think, the only um, musical I saw this year, but that was really fun. And then finally, our wedding photos came in, and they're just, it's so magical. I love it. So these are all the girls in my life. My sister, my best friend, my other best friend. Just so good. Um, then I went to my other good friend's wedding, Kelsey's wedding, and so this is a picture of me and Matt at the wedding, and then just being cute. Later there's another photo of us, here it is. Uh, this is the photo with the bride and groom, this is my friend Kelsey. Lots of beautiful things this year so far. I also went and visited my friend Sierra in her hometown, and we went wine tasting as well. I got to sit in this weirdly big chair. Also started my new job this year. I, for the first time, have been able to get a full-time job with benefits and all that fancy things. And I'm working in a treatment center for teen girls and we're working with anything under the sun for mental health. So it could be like rehab for drug and alcohol abuse. It can be eating disorders. It can be depression and anxiety, which is our most common things. Um, just like everything under the sun it can be. And so this is a photo from one of the hikes that I get to go on with the girls and it's just I love this job so much I also just love my co-workers so much they are so important to me they're fantastic and I'm so glad to have them and I also went to Kaboo this year so Kaboo is a music festival and I went with our friends Justin and Rachel it was a four-day weekend of music and a lot of the music I didn't even really know except for Black Eyed Peas I knew I know Black Eyed Peas really well and so we got to see like art stuff we got to do all kinds of cool things we got to be in this weird barrel and take a cute picture um yeah we got to go to a fancy breakfast and it was just really fun so that's my year in review so far in november i am going up to visit my our family that we have up north and we're gonna go spend thanksgiving there we're gonna spend christmas with my dad we don't know what we're doing for new year's yet but 
we shall see. And that's everything that has happened this year. I can't believe we went to New Orleans this year. Like that was this year. What the heck? It seems like it was so long ago at the same time as like it just happened. I don't even know, but how are we gonna top it? We're not, that's the thing. Oh yeah. But this year was really packed with different things other than traveling. I also went on my cruise for Bailey's wedding. We went to Mexico, so I went out of out of the out of the state twice. Um, and then I got to be maid of honor. I got to get married. Um, I also fell in, the, in love with the gym this year. That was new. I made new YouTube channels. Here we are. I dyed my hair bright blue this year. That happened. Just lots of different things. This was a big year. I think this was a really good year. Hopefully 2020 will also be a great year. So that's this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to make videos at least once a week, but I have not decided exactly how the schedule will be. I make videos every Thursday and Saturday on my main channel, which is a my booktube channel, Sassy Cassie. It's all linked down below. You can also follow me on all my social media if you want to. Those are linked down below as well, and I will see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!